All right, so this is our haunter. Um, this is where we do our finger joints. We were talking about those earlier. We can do a 12 inch wide cut. Um, basically what you have is, is 24 quarter inch blades that come up through the machine, come up through the wood and then drop back down when it's done. Yeah. Um, anything wider than a, than a 12 inch cut, we actually take it over here and do it by hand. So anything like- Do you your, start it on that and then finish it off or it's all no, by hand? No, it's all by hand. If, if, if it's wider than this machine, it's actually just a, a hand router on a, on a lead jig. Very cool. Yeah. So after the finger joints are cut in and the uh, box is put together, what's the next step? Then we take it over and do the roundovers. Any, any of your corners, backs, fronts, that type of thing. And that's that's a station right over here. We'll go take a look. Absolutely. Let's All do. Right. So Andy, what are we looking at here? Just a basic router station. A router table with a with a hand router that's been mounted upside down in the cabinet. A uh, few holes for dust collection. This is where we say, do our roundovers. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's what yeah. this is. So you got dust collection coming off the back, but so the, the dust catch down in here and, and try to try to make it as clean in here as possible. Very good. It is it is exceptionally clean for a sanding and cutting area. <laughs> I must say that. <laughs> Thank you. We try. Um, um, so you you can round a whole box on this. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Even it, a four twelve. Even a four twelve. Wow. And it, just, it doesn't look like it, but it, it's the perfect size for it. That's kind of amazing, actually. <laughs> So everything gets routed off and smoothed, and then I, I'm assuming it uh, travels over to a sanding station. It does. Uh, the the sanding of the you know the most important part is sanding, and making sure everything's clean and smooth and, and ready for Tolex, and that is the last step or the next step. Should we take a look at that? Absolutely. Okay, so now we're at the sanding station. Uh, this is where all the boxes go up and kind of get taken down to the, whatever smoothness you like to have them at before the Tolex. Absolutely. Uh, this is where we're going to work, especially on the corners. Uh, but also on the uh, the front, any type of transition between two two, two pieces of wood is, is really the main focus. Um, on the, the the Baltic birch ply, we don't do a lot of sanding on the faces just because it really doesn't need it. Right. The pine, it depends. Um, it can come in a little bit beat up, some dents or, or dings like that, and we'll definitely make sure that those Straight are cleaned over. up. Yeah, yeah. So that they're they they don't show through the Tolex when it's done. So you fill any gaps and then absolutely and then yeah. Make, now let me ask you this. Uh, you know, this, this feels decently smooth, but it does have a little bit of, of roughness to it. Is that a, a purposeful thing? It is a, a little, we, we don't want perfectly smooth because the glue will adhere better if it's, if it's, if it's got a little bit of, of a, a texture to it. It's a little more tacky. What grit do you mm. Actually, I, in most cases, 60 grit. Um, in, in some instances on the corners, especially on the pine, we'll take that to a 120. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's to, to maintain a control over the movement in the wood plywood there's a lot less movement in the material so you don't have to worry about that quite as much and but the yeah. 60 probably takes the edge off quickly it does it's very so. very quick fast moving process and you're using these uh these uh, air it's powered a, it is it's an air powered uh, a random orbit sander um so not only is it spinning uh in in this direction it's actually spinning within the within that circle and so okay. it gives you a Rotating smoother spin, faster yeah. cut uh but that, yeah i was gonna say that probably spins pretty fast it does yeah <laughs> <laughs> very good so uh, I guess this is, um, is this the final step before we start applying Tolex? Uh, actually it's not. There's one more step to, uh, to apply the interior pieces where your back panels and your baffles would attach. Um, this one's already had those uh, applied to it to kind of show you the finished product on the corners, but uh, yeah. that's the next step, which is just around the corner. Well, let's look at that. All right, very good. Okay, right. okay so the cabinet's been sanded. Yes. It's uh, almost ready for Tolex. What is left? So the last step is to put in any, any bracing uh, so that your back panel and your baffles can attach to your front panel and, and your back panel in this instance, uh, drill holes for handles, that type of thing. Um, every cab's a little bit different, but you know you can kind of see what we're doing here. Basically just gluing in pieces of wood so that those pieces can, can attach to them and stay, stay solid. No rattling, no moving yeah. around, that kind of thing. Did you have just, uh, do you pre-cut a, a lot of these at a time and just kind of mark down? We do. As, as, the, as the cabs move through the process, there's a person here that, that, that knows what's coming to him and he'll get those pieces cut and prepped for the, for the next one to go. Okay, very cool. You know, and, and one thing we really didn't mention is that while all this is happening, is parts are being made for these cabinets as they move through the process as well. It's all happening together. Exactly. So, you know, so one starts on, that, on, on a Monday and, and on Tuesday, everything kind of comes together and, and gets ready to move together. to it. Yeah. Very good. So now that we've got the braces put in, now can we put some Tolex on it? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> well, no, we got to paint it first. Oh, okay. So Actually, so nice we'll show you the paint booth and then we'll move to Tolex. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. The step between the wood shop and upholstery is the paint. Um, basically, every cab gets a little bit. It just kind of depends on what we're creating and what we're trying to reproduce, how much. You know, basically, 